Hello everyone, and welcome to Quantify's presentation on the basics of calculating and estimating formwork. In this presentation, we will discuss introductory formwork terminology and cover the quantity calculation and estimation methods for various structures. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for notifications to new videos. You can also watch our other presentations for further information on various elements in the built environment. Before we start, let's briefly touch on some formwork terminology. Formwork is used to create a permanent or temporary mold to hold concrete until it has set or cured. The most commonly used materials include timber, steel, aluminium, and plastic, but other options are available. When measuring or estimating, formwork is generally measured in square meters or in meters for more narrow items, for example where structures do not exceed 300 millimeters in width or height. Where removable formwork is used, it can be removed or struck to expose the concrete once it is cured. The curing time of concrete is dependent on the type of structure and if the formwork is supporting any weight, for example, a form supporting the sides of a surface bed, can be struck the day after casting concrete, whereas, formwork to a beam, may be in place for 7 to 14 days. As concrete hardens, the pressure exerted upon the formwork is reduced. False work, refers to a supporting structure, which assists the formwork in holding a form, until the structure can support itself. Formwork components have various names, but for this presentation we will use the following. Sheathing, or sheeting. Forms the face to receive the concrete, normally made of plywood. Soldiers, or studs. Vertical members, used to support, align, and strengthen formwork. Whaler. Horizontal members, used to hold studs, or sheathing in position. Sill, or sole plate. Horizontal member, placed at the base of the form. Push-pull props. Steel props, used to support vertical forms. Support props. False work adjustable props, used to support girders and bearers. Bearers, or girders. Offer a high load bearing capacity as support for columns, walls, and soffits, made from timber. Joists. Members below sheathing, supported by girders or bearers. Tie rods and tubes. Sacrificial ferrule tubes are placed between sheets, steel tie rods are run through their centers, with nuts on either end to tighten and pull the walls towards one another. Concrete is cast, and once set, the nuts and steel rods can be removed and the formwork struck. Let's work through the cost aspects of formwork. To calculate the cost of formwork, we require, or need to make assumptions on the following information. The size and quantity of the concrete structure to be cast the type of formwork material to be used for the form. Position of work, that is, foundations, beams, columns, multi-story buildings etc. Number of reuses of the formwork. Whether finished required is to be smooth or rough. The duration the formwork is required on site. If the formwork is hired or owned. Moving on to our first cost analysis, let's work through the steps of pricing column formwork. To tender accurately, Contact your local suppliers for current rates and substitute your local currency into the analysis. For this exercise, let's use the South African Rand and assume the following. Concrete column of 350 mm by 250 mm wide by 2 m high. We will assume reusing the formwork four times. 18 mm thick plywood sheet, size 2.44 m by 1.22 m equals 400 Rand per sheet. 50 mm by 76 mm studs at 150 mm centers, and whalers at 350 mm centers, equals 35 rand per meter. Nails equals 15 rand per kilogram, multiplied by 0.25 kilograms per square meter, plus 5% waste. Push-pull props, equals 20 rand, per number, per week. Shutter oil, at 0.20 liters per square meter, equals 20 rand per liter. Concrete to cure for 3 days, prior to striking formwork. One carpenter, at 648 rand per day, and one laborer, at 405 rand per day, can make up formwork in 5 hours, and set up and strike in 1.5 hours. Let's work through the plan view of a column. Firstly, the reinforcing will be fixed in place. Next, we need to build up the sheathing, studs, and, whalers. Once we have made up and erected the formwork in place, we can fix the push-pull props. We can then pour the concrete into the form. The elevation shows a few additional components in the column formwork. Firstly, the reinforcing will be fixed in place. Next, we need to build up the sheathing, studs, whalers, and, the sole plate. 
As before with the plan view, once formwork has been made up and erected in place, we can fix the push-pull props. We can then pour the concrete into the form. Using the preceding information and assumptions, we are now equipped to accurately price column formwork. Preliminaries. Unit of measure is in square meters. Formwork cutting waste assumed at 5%. The applicable quantities for four columns are calculated as follows. Column. Four number, multiplied by two sides, multiplied by, open bracket 350 millimeters, plus 250 millimeters, multiplied by two meters high, equals 9.60 square meters. Sheathing. Four columns, multiplied by two sides, multiplied by, open bracket 350 millimeters, plus 18 millimeters for the thickness of the sheathing, plus 250, plus 18 millimeters, close bracket, multiplied by 2 meters high, equals 10.176 square meters. Studs. Four columns, multiplied by two studs, multiplied by two sides, multiplied by 2 meters high, equals 32 meters. Whalers to the short side of the column. Four columns, multiplied by four whalers, multiplied by two sides, multiplied by, open bracket 75 millimeters for the whaler width, plus 75 for the stud width, plus 18 for the sheathing, plus 250, plus 18, plus 75, plus 75 millimeters for the studs and whalers on the opposite side, close bracket, equals 18.752 meters. Whalers to the long side of the column. Four columns, multiplied by four whalers, multiplied by two sides, multiplied by, open bracket, 18, plus 350, plus 18 millimeters, close bracket, equals 12.352 meters. Moving on to the rate analysis for column formwork. First we can start with columns for the resources, unit, quantity, rate and amount. Next, we need to allow for materials and labor to make up the formwork required. As per our earlier assumptions, we know the size of a sheet of plywood to be used for the sheathing is, 2.44 meters long, by 1.22 meters wide, which equals 2.977 square meters. The sheathing required totals 10.176 square meters per column. Therefore, 10.176 square meters, divided by 2.977 square meters, equals 3.4, so we will need to purchase four full-sized plywood sheets for our columns. Timber is supplied in 6 meter lengths, therefore we will need 36 meters for the studs, and 36 meters for the whalers. A carpenter, teamed up with one laborer can make up a column box in 5 hours. Therefore, the materials and labor required to make up a column box will cost, 4,705 rand, which we can reuse 4 times for the 4 column boxes. We can carry the cost, to make up one column box forward from before. Next, we need to allow to erect, and later strip the column box once the concrete has been cast and cured. To erect the box and ensure it is held in position, we will need nails and props. Nails we have assumed at 25 kg per square meter, with 5% waste. We will hire props to hold the box in position for 2 days, therefore 4 props for 2 days, divided by 7 days per week. Shutter oil assists with removing the formwork from the concrete once cured. We can apply the shutter oil to the face of the sheathing which will receive concrete. Lastly, the labor team from before can erect and strip the column box formwork in 1.5 hours. Therefore the cost for one column's formwork, is 1,452 rand and 96 cents. This can be divided by the area of the column to receive formwork, to provide a rate per square meter for formwork. That is, 1,452 rand and 96 cents, divided by 9.6 square meters, equals 151 rand and 35 cents. Next, let's work through the steps of pricing slab soffit formwork. Let's assume a concrete slab of 5 meters wide, multiplied by 9 meters long, which equals 45 square meters. We will assume reusing the formwork 4 times. 21 millimeters thick plywood sheet, size 2.5 meters, by 1.25 meters, at 30 rand per sheet, per week. If you consider the width of the slab at 5 meters, divided by a 1.25 meter wide sheet, we will need 4 sheets for the width of the slab. The 9 meter long slab, divided by 2.5 meters equals, 3.6 sheets, which we round up to 4 sheets. Therefore we will need 16 sheets in total. Girders of 5.4 meters long, at 1.2 meter centers at a cost of 35 rand per week per girder. 50 by 152 millimeter bearers at 600 millimeter centers, at 72 rand per meter. 40 push-pull props at 20 rand per prop per week. Shutter oil at 0.20 liters per square meter, at 20 rand per liter. Concrete to cure for 14 days, 
prior to striking form work. One carpenter, at 648 rand, per 9-hour workday, which includes for an hour's paid lunch, and six laborers, at 405 rand per day per laborer, can make up form work in 9 hours, and set up and strike in 18 hours. Let's work through the 3D sketch of a concrete slab. Firstly, props will be used as the base support of the soffit formwork. Next, we need to build up the girders, joists, and plywood. Once we have made up and erected the formwork in place, we can fix the reinforcing and place it into position. Formwork to the sides and edges can be set up, but for this exercise will be measured elsewhere. Finally, we can pour the concrete into the form. Using the preceding information and assumptions, we are now equipped to accurately price slab soffit formwork. Preliminaries. Unit of measure is in square meters. No cutting waste has been allowed. The applicable quantities for 45 square meters are calculated as follows. Slab, 5 meters, multiplied by 9 meters, equals 45 square meters. Sheathing, 16 sheets as per our earlier calculations, which covers 50 square meters. Girders, 5.4 meters long, will run along the length of the slab, that is, 5 meters divided by, 1.2 meter centers, plus 1 girder, equals 6 girders, multiplied by a 9 meter long slab, divided by a 5.4 meter long girder, therefore a total of 10 girders. Joists, 6.6 meters long, will run along the width, therefore, 9 meters, divided by 600 millimeter centers, plus 1 girder, equals 16 joists, multiplied by 6.6 meters, so a total of 105.6 meters. Moving on to the rate analysis for slab soffit formwork. As before, we start with columns for the resources, unit quantity, rate and amount. We need 105.6 meters of 50 by 152 millimeter joists, that can be made up by a carpenter, teamed up with 6 laborers in 9 hours. Therefore, the materials and labor required will cost, 10,681 rand and 20 cents, which we can reuse four times. We can carry the cost, to make up form work forward from before. Next, we need to allow to erect, and later strip the soffit formwork once the concrete has been cast and cured. To erect the soffit formwork and ensure it is held in position, we will need nails, props and girders. Nails we have assumed at 25 kilograms per square meter, with 5% waste. We will hire props to hold the soffit in position for 14 days, therefore 40 props for 14 days, divided by 7 days per week. Shutter oil assists with removing the formwork from the concrete once cured. We can apply the shutter oil to the face of the shutter ply which will receive concrete. We will hire the shutter ply sheets, therefore 16 sheets, multiplied by 14 days, divided by 7 days per week. 10 girders will also be hired for 2 weeks. Lastly, the labor team from before can erect and strip the soffit formwork in 18 hours. Therefore the cost for the soffit formwork is 12,463 rand and 18 cents. This can be divided by the area of the soffit to receive formwork, to provide a rate per square meter for formwork. That is, 12,463 rand and 18 cents, divided by 45 square meters, equals 276 rand and 96 cents. Our final formwork analysis in this presentation will be for stairs. For this exercise, let's assume the following. Stair width 1.2 meters wide. Stair riser 165 millimeters high. Stair tread 250 millimeters wide, by 8 steps. 18 millimeter thick plywood sheet, 2.44 meters, by 1.22 meters at 400 rand per sheet. 50, by 76 millimeter joists at 400 millimeter centers, equals 36 rand per meter. 50, by 76 mm bearers at 700 mm centers, equals 36 rand per meter. Push-pull props at 20 rand per number, per week, by 6 props. Shutter oil at 0.2 liters per square meter, at 20 rand per liter. Concrete to cure for 7 days, prior to striking formwork. One carpenter at 648 per day, and two laborers at 405 rand per day, can make up formwork in 18 hours, and set up and strike in 18 hours. Let's work through the 3D sketch of a concrete staircase. Firstly, props will be used as the base support of the stair soffit formwork. Next, we need to build up the joists, bearers and plywood. The formwork to the sides of the stairs can follow on. Reinforcing can then be fixed into position. Next the riser formwork, a bearer and stays can be fixed into position. Lastly, we can pour the concrete into the form, creating our staircase. Next, Let's run through the calculations for the sheathing required for the staircase. Starting with the sides of the steps. 7 steps, 
multiplied by 165 mm, by 250 mm, by half for a triangle. The base step requires a 165 by 250 mm form. The stair waist can be calculated by using the hypotenuse of the steps, therefore, 7 steps, multiplied by the square route of, open bracket, 165 squared, plus 250 mm squared, closed bracket, multiplied by 175 mm for the spine thickness. Lastly the two remaining triangles need to be covered, therefore, 2, multiplied by 165, multiplied by 175 mm, by half. This amounts to a quantity of 0.578 square meters, multiplied by two sides, equals 1.156 square meters. The soffit, can be calculated, using the steps hypotenuse again, i.e. 7 steps, multiplied by the square route of, open bracket, 165 squared, plus 250 millimeters squared, close bracket, multiplied by the stair width of 1.2 meters wide, which equals 2.493 square meters. The riser sheathing is calculated as follows, 8 risers, by 1.2 meters wide, by 165 millimeters high, equals 1.584 square meters. Lastly we can add 5% for the stays, so the total stair sheathing required is 5.495 square meters. Using the preceding information and assumptions, we are now equipped to accurately price the staircase formwork. Preliminaries. Unit of measure is in number. Cutting waste assumed at 15%. For a single staircase, we will need. Two sheets of shutter ply. Joists of 50 by 75 mm timbers running along the spine of the staircase at 400 mm centers, equals 6.233 meters, therefore one length of 6.6 .6 meter long timber. Bearers running with ways down the spine at 700 mm centers, multiplied by 1.4 meters long, equals 4.154 meters, plus a single bearer running down the face of the risers, of 2.077 meters, therefore one length of 6.6 .6 meter long timber. We can keep the same format as before for our rate analysis. To make up the required formwork, we will need two plywood sheets. Two 6.6 .6 meter lengths of timber, one for the joists and one for the bearers. A carpenter, teamed up with two laborers, can make up the formwork in nine hours. Therefore, the materials and labor required will cost, 2,733 rand and 20 cents. We carry the cost to make up formwork forward, as before. Next, we need to allow to erect, and later strip the soffit formwork once the concrete has been cast and cured. To erect the soffit formwork and ensure it is held in position, we will need nails and props. Nails we have assumed at half a kilogram per square meter, with 5% waste. We will hire props to hold the soffit in position for 7 days, therefore 4 props for 7 days, divided by 7 days per week. We can apply the shutter oil to the face of the shutter ply which will receive concrete. Lastly, the labor team from before can erect and strip the soffit formwork in 18 hours. Therefore the cost for the staircase formwork is 5,800 rand and 45 cents. And that concludes Quantify's presentation on formwork theory and cost analyses. Thank you for watching. Be sure to watch our other videos on various other topics in the built environment. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel if you found the video insightful.